Hey, this is Nate from ClayTrader.com. Today we're gonna to go through another tutorial on the Thinkorswim platform, and we're gonna address how actually how to trade or how to buy or sell a stock today. Uh, we're gonna to start here, right here in the trade tab. Um, we kind of did another video earlier about the overview of the trade tab and what's available. Um, so we're just gonna jump right in here and actually show you how to make a trade. Um, so first off, first thing we gonna do is just uh, choose what symbol or what equity we wanna buy. Um, we're just gonna start off with Apple, pretty straightforward, simple. Um, and this is what populates by default. We're not doing anything with options today, so we can go ahead and trade that. We're basically gonna focus just with the underlying. So um, as you can see up here, as we covered in another video, you can see the current or the last price, um, the bid and the ask and all that other stuff too. So um, we're just gonna do a very simple uh, buy on this. So we're just gonna right click anywhere up here um, and we're just gonna do a buy right here. And that's what, it, what that's gonna do is populate this window now down here on the bottom. So you can see this window popped up down here. And this is gonna give us all of our details or our configuration of what we wanna do or how we wanna configure this trade. Um, so as you can see, we're trading a stock, we're buying it. We could change this to sell if we wanted to, but right now we're gonna stick with buying. We can also change um, how our quantity happens. So right now we're buying 100 shares, um, but we can change that. Say we wanted to do a percentage of what we have available in our, mar in our account, or say we wanted to just invest a certain amount of money. Say I just wanted to buy up to $500 worth of Apple stock. Um, then that would automatically configure and figure out how many shares we wanted. So for now, we're just gonna leave that on shares and let's just change that to say 10 for now. Um, you can change the symbol here if you wanted to. Um, you can see we're buying stocks. Um, we don't really have some of these other options are for actually trading options and stuff. So we're not, we're not gonna do anything with those. Um, and here we can see the price. So basically 112.54 is what we're at right now um, for the current market price. Um, we're actually gonna change that. Um, I actually don't wanna get filled. We're on a paper money account, so it's not a big deal. Um, but say I wanted to uh, do an order that says, okay, if this pulls back to a certain point, I want to fill it. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's just say, uh, nice even round number at 100. So if the stock pulls back to $100, I want you to go ahead and execute my order. And that's basically what this limit order says, saying that I want you to limit to, if it hits $100, then go ahead and execute, otherwise don't do anything. Um, if you're to change that to a market order, you can see this price point is gone there and it's basically just gonna buy it whatever the current market price is. So let's change it back to a market order. Um, our $100 comes back here and then we can change how long we want this to, to go. Either just leave it till further today um, or we can go good till cancel. Um, so basically just sit out there until we cancel this manually. And then there's also two other options here and this is for extended hours. So this would be in a day extended hours or this would be a good to cancel in extended hours. So we're just gonna leave that default in the day um, and the exchange we're gonna leave at best. Um, that's pretty much it for the placing an order. You just go down here, hit confirm and send then at this point and it would go ahead and submit your order. Um, there's also another button right here on the very right hand side. Um, kind of looks like a little gear with a plus mark there. That's gonna give us more details or more information about the order. So if we go ahead and click on that, this new window now pops up. Some of the information is the same. Is the same. So we can say we say we have a day order. It's not extended hours. It's not good till cancel. Nothing like that. Um, you can still see we're buying here ten shares. It's a limit order at hundred bucks. Um, but some of the other things that do come up now is you can have it automatically submit the order at a certain time or cancel the order at a certain time. And you can also have it submit it based on other things. So you'd probably use this more likely if you're doing options, say I wanna buy a contract at this price if the underlying gets to a certain price. So you could fill in all this information and do that kind of stuff here. We're not gonna mess with any of that stuff right now, so we're just gonna hit cancel. Um, so let's just go ahead and submit this order. We're gonna do confirm and send. It's gonna come up and say, okay, what do we wanna do? Um, make sure we're on our right account. These are both paper money accounts, so they don't matter. Um, so we're just gonna choose one. Um, and you can choose and basically just gonna review it here. Make sure um, buying 10 contract or 10 Apple stocks at $100 limit and it's gonna go till open tomorrow morning. Um, basically tells me what it's gonna cost me. It's gonna cost me $1,000 plus $10 in commissions, um, how it's gonna affect my buying power and all that fun stuff. So now you can go ahead and hit save. If you wanna not execute it, but just save it for later, you can edit it if something's wrong, delete it or go ahead and hit send it. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna jump right and hit, go ahead and hit send. Um, and you can see now that order is out here. Um, and there's actually a couple ways now to check on this order. The most common or popular is probably gonna be the monitor tab. So that's gonna be right up here. And then we can also jump into the charts tab and see it there as well in a minute. So let's jump, jump into the monitor tab and you can see we have one open order here to buy 10 shares of Apple. 
um, a limit order at $100 and it's working right now. So if that was filled, uh, that would change um, and it'd be actually be down here in the filled order section, not rather than the working order section. Um, and another place we can see it here, if we go to the chart, you can see right here, oh, there's my $10 limit or my 10 share limit order at $100 right on the Apple chart. Um, you can edit it from here if you want. Um, you can cancel it. Um, you can do a lot of things with it. You can actually just drag it up and down. Say I wanted to change that to be a $95 or a $96 limit order. We can do that. Just drag it down there. It's going to come up and say, okay, do you want to make that $96.04? We'll hit okay and we'll hit send. And there you go. Now it's just down there. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It makes it pretty easy to move things around and drag them and stuff. So let's just hop back to the monitor tab here. So you can see now that that change that we just did is reflected. Um, it's now a 9604 limit order on today and it's still still working because the market's still at 112 um, and isn't going to get filled. So let's just go ahead. We're just going to right click that and we're going to hit cancel the order. And that basically just canceled our order. Nothing was ever executed. Um, we're good to go. You can see all this stuff is, is cleared out here. Um, you can actually go down here and see canceled orders. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to have two canceled orders because we canceled that $100 um, order the first time when we dropped it down to 9604 and then we just now canceled that out second 9604 uh, order so that's pretty much the gist of buying a stock and canceling your order uh, the same thing would work for selling a stock you just do the exact opposite so uh, if you have any questions certainly leave us a question or comment down below one of the questions that we get on a daily basis is how do we find stocks to trade to answer this question we went ahead and made a free resource guide the guide lists the five tools that we use every day that helps us find stocks that are in play. The guide is short, sweet, and to the point, and best of all, it's free. Go ahead and click that box, enter your email address, and we'll send it to you right away. As always, if you like this video or find it helpful, please leave us a thumbs up or a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.